let's um, solve logarithmic equation. So, bago tayo mag-solve ng logarithmic equation, um, pag nag-solve tayo ng problem set um, involving logarithms, para lang siyang uh, linear equation. So, kung marunong kayo mag-solve ng linear equation, marunong kayo mag-convert ng exponents to logarithms and logarithms to exponent, then yung pag-solve ng uh, logarithm ay madali lang. So, for example, dati, ang sinasagutan lang natin is 2x plus 3 equals 7, and pag nag-solve tayo ng x, get rid mo yung 3, you have 2x equals 4, then divide mo both sides by 2 para x is by itself, yung x is equal to 2. So, yun yung, ganito yung process, yung mga steps, kung paano pag-solve ng x sa linear equation. Tapos, pagka-quadratic equation naman, kung factorable yung quadratic equation mo, factor mo siya. So, yung x squared minus x minus 30 is factorable into x plus 5 times x minus 6. At saka, using the zero product property, yung x is equal to negative 5 at yung x is equal to 6. So, kung marunong kayong mag-solve ng linear equation at quadratic equation using the factoring method, yung logarithmic equation, eh, kayang-kaya nyo gawin. So, umpisaan natin sa example number 1. We have logarithm of 2 plus x base b equal to logarithm of 2x base b. So, ang pag-solve niyan, madali lang kung parehas na may logarithm at parehas na may base, parehang ba parehas na base yung um, e equation nyo. Kasi, ang rule is, kung parehas sila ng base, parehas sila may log, cancel nyo lang siya. At nung matitira sa'yo is yung 2 plus x equals 2x. So, kung ito na lang yung equation nyo, alam nyo linear equation yan, so combining like terms and then solving for x, so makukuha mo na yung value ng x. So, ang gagawin natin, subtract x on both sides. So, we have 2 equals x. So, therefore, yung logarithmic equation natin na mukhang napaka-komplikado, e eh, equal to 2 lang naman pala. So, kung alam nyo yung rule, madali lang yung pag-solve ng logarithmic equation. So, on the first example, kung pareha silang may log, at para silang may base, cancel nyo lang, magkakaroon kayo ng equation, either linear equation or quadratic equation, and then solve for x. Now, uh, bukod sa pag-solve ng linear equation at saka ng quadratic equation, kailangan alam nyo rin yung properties of logarithm. Yung tatlong properties, addition properties, subtraction property, and power property para masagutan nyo yung equation tulad nito. So, yung example na to, meron tayong 2 logarithm of x equal to logarithm of 4 plus logarithm of x minus 1. So, dito, alam natin na pwede natin itong simplify using the pro power property. At ito na dalawa naman ito, pwede natin siyang i-condense using um, addition property. So, now, from logarithm 2 log of x, meron na tayong yung log x squared equal to logarithm of 4 times x minus 1. Kasi ginamitan natin siya ng addition property. So ngayon, alam natin mula sa example number 1, pag parehas ng log, parehas ng base, pwede natin i-cancel. So ngayon, cancel mo lang itong dalawang to. Ang matitira na lang sa'yo yung mga x's nyo. So meron ka ngayong x squared equals 4 quantity x minus 1. So tulad ng mga dati yung uh, equation na na-encounter sa uh, previous math classes nyo, gagawin nyo lang is to simplify the equation, combine like terms, and then equate it to zero, and see if you can solve for x using quadratic formula, or factoring method, or completing the square. So in this case, meron tayong x squared equal to 4x minus 4 using the distributive property. And to equate it to 0, meron tayo ngayong x squared minus 4x plus 4 equal to 0. So, ang nangyari, tinanspose natin yung 4x minus 4 on this side. Kaya nagkaroon tayo ng negative 4x, tsaka positive 4. At we know na itong quadratic equation na to is factorable. So, kung yung factorable yung quadratic equation nyo, madali lang yung pag-solve ng x. So, yun, meron ka ngayong x minus 2 times x minus 2. At using the zero product property, x is simply 2 because if you equate it to 0, x minus 2 equals 0, add 2 on both sides, it's basically equal to 2, and same with the other side. So ito yung logarithmic equation na kailangan nyo ng properties ng logarithm bago nyo siya masolve. So, punta tayo sa pangalang example. So, 
So parang, um, kapag yung previous example, meron tayong mga logs, gagamitan natin siya ng properties para ma-solve natin yung equation. So dito sa equation na to, log of x base 2 plus logarithm of x minus 2 base 2 is equal to 3. Combine natin tong dalawa using the um, addition property. So now we have logarithm of x times x minus 2 base 2 equal to 3. Ngayon, ang problema, hindi to katulad ng example number 1 dahil isa lang yung may log. Itong equation lang na to, yung side ng equation lang na to, yung may logarithm, yung other side ay wala. So, hindi mo siya pwede i-cancel. So, ang gagawin mo para ma-simplify mo to is to convert the logarithmic equation into an exponential equation. So, paano natin gagawin yun? So, if we have logarithm of x or this uh, term, base 2 equal to 3, all we have to do is raise 2 to 3, 2 to 3, and then bring down x times x minus 2. Now, as I've said, kailangan yung um, alam yung pag-convert ng logarithm to exponent and exponent to logarithm. So, bago kayo makapag-solve ng logarithmic equation, kailangan alam nyo na yun. At ito yung nangyari dito sa step na yun. Kinonvert natin siya from logarithmic equation into exponential function. Now, pwede na lang siya simplify. So, looking at this equation, we know na isi-simplify natin yung 2 cubed. 2 cubed is 8. And then yung x times x minus 2, pwede na siya i-distribute. So, meron tayo ngayong x squared minus 2x equal to 8. Now, equate it to 0. Transpose nyo yung 8 by subtracting 8 on both sides. So, you'll have x, minus, x squared minus 2x minus 8 equal to 0. Now, Alam nyo naman na itong equation na to is factorable. So, pag pinactor natin siya, meron tayong x plus 2 times x minus 4. And using the zero product property, the two x's will be x equals negative 2 and x equals 4. So, ito yung second type ng uh, logarithmic function na pwede nyo ma-encounter pag uh, nagsosolve kayo ng logarithmic equ equation.